Hello and welcome back to Callie's in the Kitchen. Today I am using Pouring Your Heart Out Mix Mystic Mold. I will link it below. It's a terrific mold and when Julie created it, she, I know she thought about how we would do 3D blooms and allowed us these little indentations or this little sort of mystique showing uh, curves here to draw petals. I've done one of these before and hadn't done it in a few, I don't know, months maybe because I've been so obsessed with uh, resincourses.com, her flower technique, Micah's flower techniques, and then I've been obsessed with Petra seashell technique, and then Caplia's uh, duet. So I, I know I've done a few blooms in between, but this mold is so fantastic so i thought i'd give it a shot again um i am using nick pro a one-to-one -one. i'm layering it at the moment i have done sort of a mixture for my center i've got these silver baubles i'm a little hopefully they don't float too much but while that's spreading i'm going to put aside probably 36 grams i think for my white so I will do that while that spreads out. I did let my resin sit till about 35 degrees. I'm now pouring the rest of the resin that I have in here. I am going to torch and then I will put my glitter mix in the center. And I've left a little bit more resin clear in the cup so that if I have any stragglers, maybe I can use it to push it down. So here's my sort of glitter mix. It's this blue sort of shell, no, not so, shells, uh, beads that I got a while ago and I haven't used them. So I'm gonna make a fairly, and of course I had to add a little color. So hopefully those little silver baubles stay in place. That might be a little big for this mold, but I want to use it all so I'm going to get my other tool oh good it's well that might that might cause trouble little stinky poo okay now I know it needs to come out here more Wow, that's a really big center that I haven't done before, but let's... Oh, it's a little off. Um, I know those uh, center folks are going to be so irritated with me, but let me try and see if I can circle them, circle the wagon here and kind of move it over. Okay, whoops, my cup fell down. Sorry for the oopsie. Just gonna put a little bit more over it. I am going to be putting a top coat on this, so that's okay. So I'm gonna just finish up my resin here. Oh, I really did make a huge center, didn't I? Oh! Well, maybe this one will feature the center. <laughs> you know, usually you, it's the bloom that you want to feature. Okay, now you stay down, okay, please? Little bobbles. 
Stay down. I'm going to push you down. I'll be very sad if you move. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is, let's see what colors. I think I'll go blue to blue to yellow. So my first color is an alcohol ink from Octopus Resin Inks. I get mine from in the US from Laura's Art Corner. I'm just gonna put drops. I know I see bubbles, I forgot to. I forgot to torch. Then my next color is berry juice. Oops, oh, I hate when I do that. I know, you know, it's probably not going to make a difference, you know, but I think I'm just so neat freak. Just like this one here, I gotta get out. Okay. And my next color is the honey. Also, same ink. This one I'm going to do in between. And I kind of want to do some more, but maybe I won't. I know it's going to come in. Um, let's see. I, I don't want to wait. Let's see. Maybe I'll do like on the berry ones. Okay. Boy, that's colorful. All right, so for my white, um, and I've got my 36 grams here, I am going to use just resin titanium white. And I've stirred it in the jar, and I've put a fairly good amount. Let me see if it's um, oh, enough. Probably, it's looking a little pale, so I might add, no, it's getting darker. See, it's getting darker. You have no idea if I captured that on the camera or not. I hope I did. Okie doke. Okie dokie arty chokey. I love all those little expressions. Okie dokie art arty chokey. And even just okie dokie. And lemon easy peasy lemon squeezy. I love that. I first heard it on a, a golf movie. Okay, so it's a nice, nice white. Hopefully I didn't put too much or too little. I will pause you for a second, put it in my piping bag, and come back and draw. Okay, here we go. Got my piping bag. It's a little bit warm. Not quite warm enough yet, so I might just stall a few minutes. I mean, put some of my stuff away. All right, I'm ready. Cutting a little tip off. Okay. 
Oopsie boopsie. Got to position this tail under carefully so I have room to move Nuga. Alright, here we go. Yes, I'm holding my breath. Doing it really slowly to get an even stream as possible. My hand's got to come up for air Oof. to reposition my bag. Oof. That was a lot of concentration. Concentration okay, so I'm already at the edge here. Here I've I uh, hmm. still not quite even, but we shall do my best here. I know I have enough white. I just have to squeeze it from the bottom <clears throat> where my knot is to the to the top. Yeah, I've got enough to finish it off. I know, I know, I know I do. <laughs> yeah, I just want to finish it to there. Come on. Oops. My glove sort of got... <clears throat> okay, let me go here again. This is serious business. <laughs> okay, I am going to use my dotting tool very carefully. So I'm trying, I wanted to, if I want to go like this time this way and then out there, just, no, because it's, it's out that way that makes sense. And that's how Julie made this mold. So, so I'm very carefully going deep but making sure I am no way near my bottom of my mold. Yeah, see those bubbles are moving. <clears throat> okay. I'm not going to use them next time. Unless I can sh shove them in at some point. Oh. 
All right, I'm going to go out and probably just from one, two, three, four. Should I go back out? I don't know. Should I go in here? No. I'm just going to do this here. Just do this. And it's not going to really matter because my glitter mix is down there. Oh, boy, I'm so tempted to go like this. I think I will today. Oh, how about that look? That's cool. It's pretty on this side. Oh, too bad my bubbles are out. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Okay, torch. And I will more than likely use a very dark, not very, but maybe a black background with some glitter because just black just seems to show up because I do want to display my petals, especially if they do turn out. Now I see a little thingy jig here going on. Let me just say, no, no, no blob, please. No blob tonight. Hopefully that solves it. I'll keep torching, mess with it, put a top coat, and see you for the unmolding. All right, so I um, decided to put a blue background and I mixed up a whole bunch of different colors uh, dark blue light blue a little bit of black and I put some glitter um, that I'm hoping might show up on the other side so let's see how my 3d bloom turned out okie doke oh this is the part that I'm always so nervous about Oh my word! <laughs> okay, I can't hide my feelings, so not too bad. So that just resin titanium white is a good source for my white. And I did get a little sparkle, and look at my petals. And this isn't too bad, um, you know, different kind of center. But I'm a happy camper. I'll take you down. Look at those petals. Yay, yay, yay. Take that up there. Let me get you down some more. Happy girl am I. Thank you so much for watching.